Russian television has come up with a new fake about Ukraine. This time, the experts in the studio said that tactical nuclear weapons were transferred to Kiev. According to Newsweek, this baseless assumption was voiced by Alexei Mukin, head of the pro-Kremlin Center for Political Information on the state-run Russia One television channel. According to him, the delivery of F-16 fighters to Ukraine indicates that tactical nuclear weapons have also been transferred. Firstly, the F-16 already exists, and I am sure that tactical nuclear weapons already exist. Unfortunately, practice shows that when they announced something, it happened several months ago, Mukin said. There is no evidence, however, that the West has sent nuclear weapons to the Ukrainians. Ukraine gave up its nuclear arsenal in exchange for security guarantees from Russia and the United States under the Budapest Memorandum. Despite this, pro-Kremlin media and officials have repeatedly spread the nuclear weapons narrative since Russia began its invasion in February 2022. Another guest on the show, Konstantin Zatulin, a member of the ruling United Russia Party, disagreed with Mukin. I think they are trying to catch us by the tongue, since we have already managed to say that we will perceive the appearance of the F-16 as a nuclear threat, but I am sure that they have definitely not crossed the threshold associated with the provision of tactical nuclear weapons, Zatulin said. The Kremlin has vowed to shoot down Western F-16 fighters supplied by Ukraine while claiming it does not believe they will turn the tide of the war. Tactical nuclear weapons are intended for battlefield use as opposed to strategic weapons designed to be fired across vast distances to wipe out enemy cities. The underlying physics is the same, using nuclear fission and fusion reactions to release vast amounts of energy. The destructive power of tactical nuclear weapons, while typically smaller than strategic weapons, is still comparable with the atomic bombs used by the United States to destroy the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of World War II. The United States has about 200, half of which are at bases in Europe. Russia has about 1,558 non-strategic nuclear warheads. Experts at the Federation of American Scientists estimated opens new tab in March. These could be delivered by different means, including being dropped as bombs or fitted to a variety of missiles that are capable of carrying either nuclear or conventional warheads. Valery Ryabik, Ukrainian military expert and development director of Defense Express Media and consulting company, believes that Ukraine, after receiving F-16 aircraft, could potentially receive F-35 fighters in the future. He shared this view on Espresso TV. If we discuss the 128 aircraft we need, they might not be limited to just F-16 fighters. Options could include Mirage 2000-5 or Gripen aircraft. At this stage, we can't rule out any possibilities with certainty. However, it's clear that Ukraine will continue to rearm with Western-style aircraft. We will gradually gain the technology needed to maintain their operational capabilities and produce spare parts, Ryabik explained. According to him, after receiving the F-16s, the next step will be to obtain other advanced aircraft. Over time, Ukraine's Air Force will transition to a single type of aircraft, likely the fifth-generation F-35 fighter jet. I do not doubt that we will receive F-35s in the future. Aircraft are not just about tactics, they are about strategy. Therefore, if we have already received the F-16, our pilots will move towards mastering other Western aircraft. Given Ukraine's geopolitical position, we will continue to receive the latest Western weapons. He added, a number of Ukraine's European allies have pledged to send F-16s to Ukraine and the first batch arrived in the country in late July. It remains uncertain how many of the combat planes were sent to Ukraine. The arrival of the first combat aircraft in Ukraine nonetheless marks a notable achievement. Kiev repeatedly requested the aircraft from allies over many months of the war. It has awaited U.S. approval for the export of F-16s from allies willing to transfer them to Ukraine, and then the training of Ukrainian pilots to use the aircraft has also taken months. Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium and Norway have agreed to send around 80 aircraft to Ukraine, although the timeline for their delivery varies. 
Most are not expected until 2025. Russia has dismissed the supply of F-16s with Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov saying last Thursday that Russian forces were prepared to shoot down the F-16 jets.